Hello friends, I'm Sarita Verma and once again welcome to my channel Electronics and Life Simplified. Today in this video series of Basic Electronics Engineering, today we'll discuss about Zener Diode, a very special type of diode. So let's start. This video has been designed with the objective that after watching this video, the viewer should be able to draw the symbol of Zener Diode, explain how it works, plot the electrical characteristics, define various parameters and enlist a few applications. A Zener Diode is a very special type of diode and it has been designed to operate in the reverse breakdown region. An ordinary diode cannot be operated in this region. It will be destroyed due to excessive heat. Zener diode allows current to flow not only from its anode to cathode, but also in the reverse direction when Zener voltage is reached. We can consider Zener diode equivalent to a battery having a voltage equal to the Zener voltage. So, Zener diode is always used in applications where constant output voltage is needed. Clarence Malvin Zener, the American physicist, invented the Zener diode. This is the symbol of a Zener diode. The anode is in the form of an arrow and the cathode is in the form of an alphabet Z. This is the three-dimensional view of the Zener diode and this is how your Zener diode looks like. Construction of Zener diode Zener diode is heavily doped to reduce the reverse breakdown voltage. So here we have the pin and type regions and this is the depletion layer which is very thin. In case of Zener diode, it is less than one micrometer. So reverse voltage Vz across the diode always remains constant. Construction of a Zener diode. The operation of a Zener diode depends upon the doping level of the pn junction. The depletion layer is very thin and the electric field is very high even for a small reverse bias voltage. It allows electrons to move from the valence band of the p-type material to the conduction band of the n-type material. The breakdown voltage of a diode can be set by carefully controlling the doping level during the manufacture. So very important point to be remembered by all that the Breakdown voltage is controlled by controlling the doping level at the time of manufacturing. Breakdown voltage of a commonly available Zener diode can vary from 1.2 volts to 200 volts. Higher the level of doping, the depletion layer will be very thin and breakdown will occur at a very low voltage. And if the doping level is not, is moderate or less, then accordingly breakdown voltage will occur at a higher voltage. So let's see the important features of Zener diode. Zener diode is very highly doped and it can be operated in the reverse breakdown region. An ordinary diode will be destroyed. It has a sharp breakdown voltage Vz and in the forest bias condition the Zener diode behaves like a normal p-n junction diode. So let us see the VI characteristics of Zener diode. On the x-axis, voltage is taken both in the forward and the reverse bias, reverse bias condition. And on the y-axis, the current for the forward bias is plotted. It is measured in milliampere generators and milliampere. And same for the reverse bias condition, the current is in again in milliampere. If we see the graph the forward, for the forward bias condition, the graph is plotted in the first quadrant and is similar to a normal p-n junction diode. For reverse bias condition, very little current flows in through the Zener diode and that is due to the minority carriers and until the reverse breakdown voltage is reached and there are two types of breakdowns we talk about. Once the breakdown voltage is reached, the current increases very sharply. One is the Zener breakdown and the other is the avalanche breakdown. So, 
If we were to plot the characteristics of xenodiode, we have to divide it into two sections. One is the forward characteristics and the other is reverse characteristics. For, for forward characteristics, of course, they are much, very much identical to our normal pain junction diode. Whereas the reverse characteristic is concerned, when a reverse voltage is applied to the Zener diode, we found that very small current, which is called the reverse saturation current, flows through the diode, especially which is due to the thermally generated minority carriers. And as this reverse voltage is increased, a certain value of reverse voltage called the breakdown voltage is reached and then the current increases very sharply. This is an indication that the breakdown has occurred. There are two types of breakdowns which occur in Zener diode. One is called the avalanche breakdown and the other is called the Zener breakdown. And this breakdown voltage is indicated by Vz. So let's see what are the two different types of breakdowns. One by one, Zener breakdown. This type of breakdown occurs when the diode is reverse biased, that is positive. Terminal of the battery is connected to the anode and negative is connected to the cathode. The result is the kinetic energy of the electrons increases and they move at a very high velocity. Due to the high velocity, electrons collide with the other atoms and give rise to free electrons. These newly generated free electrons in turn give rise to a high value of reverse saturation current and this is known as the Zener breakdown. This is called observe Zener breakdown or is observed in diodes having a reverse voltage of less than 6 volts. Avalanche breakdown. This occurs when a high reverse voltage is applied across the diode and as you go on increasing the reverse voltage, the electric field across the junction increases. The electric field exerts a force on the electrons at the junction and frees them from the covalent bonds. So covalent bonds break and the free electrons are created. These free electrons start moving with a high velocity across the junction. They collide with the other atoms and thus create more free electrons. This results in rapid increase in the net current and both these breakdowns occur in senior diode. Avalanche breakdown occurs when the reverse voltage is higher than 6 volts. These are a few applications of the inner diode. It can be used in voltage regulators, clipping circuits and over voltage protection circuits. Here is a small quiz for you to solve. A Zener diode is always operated in dash bias condition. So pause for a moment and try to solve the quiz. Of course the answer is Reverse bias condition in a Zener diode with a high breakdown voltage ha ha as occurs when the dash dope pn and junction. So we a high breakdown voltage occurs for a what highly dope pn and junction in a Zener diode. The Zener breakdown takes place at dash less than 6 volts. Breakdown region set during the manufacturing of the diode by controlling the dash of the diode, the doping level of the diode. Depletion region of Zener diode is very thin and in Zener diode, avalanche breakdown takes place above 6 volts. So, these are the answers and thank you for your attention.